everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on TikTok and Instagram, where I also talk about perfume. Today, I'm really excited to share with you some of the perfume houses that I'm really looking forward to trying in 2021. Of course, I'm really looking forward to 2021 in general, but um, there are definitely some perfume houses that have caught my eye over the past year, past several months especially. So I'm just gonna share those with you today. So the first one is Francesca Bianchi. Some of the YouTube channels where I've heard about Francesca Bianchi are Brandon from Da Vinci's Alchemist, and Amina from Experiencing Fragrance with Amina and Claire from Smurfy Girly. So in any channels that I'm talking about today, I will list down below and I encourage you to check them out. So I remember Brandon from Da Vinci's Alchemist did a pretty comprehensive review because he got one of the discovery kits. Probably will end up getting the discovery set, um, even though I think it was $75 for, but I think it's 10 and I think there may be two, I can't remember if it was two to four milliliters. So it's a little bit more generous discovery kit than some, but it still seems a little bit expensive for a discovery kit. Anyway, I'm really excited to try Francesca Bianchi because I've heard such amazing things and they look and sound so beautiful. And so that is a house from the Netherlands. The next one is 4160 Tuesdays, which is a British niche house, which I've talked about a little bit because I did an unboxing of Shazam, which is um, the first, but I've also sampled several from 4160 Tuesdays and I really love them. I love their aesthetic. And some of the ones I'm interested in are Oh My Soul, uh, creamy vanilla crumble and what I did for my holidays. So they have some really cool fragrances and some of the ones I've sampled are really great. So I'm looking forward to digging into 4160 Tuesdays a little more in the new year. The next one is DS and Durga, which is a US perfume house. And I think I've heard about DS and Durga primarily from Eve, from Eve Spider Smells. And some of their fragrances sound beautiful too. And one is called Durga that I'm interested in. And then a couple others are Amber Kiso, coriander, bow makers, and debaser. They just sound like really beautiful compositions and I just, I love their aesthetic. And they're also available on Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy, I believe. So DS and Durga is definitely on my list to try. Next one is Ajmal, which is from United Arab Emirates. And primarily I wanna try the Kafia line, um, but I'm also interested in some of their other fragrances. I've just heard really good things about Ajmal from various channels, including Fragrance with Amy. So that's definitely on my list and I believe they're available on fragrancebuy.ca. Next is Mansara and Montal. So I do have a Montal. I have Rose Elixir, which I really like, and I have definitely sampled several. Thanks to Lulu. Um, Lulu has shared a lot of Mansara fragrances with me, which is awesome. I really like them. And so some of the Manseras that I'm interested in are Pink Prestigium, Red Tobacco. I think I, he I heard about Red Tobacco from Richard Keacock and um, that just sounds amazing. So that's on my list. And for Montal, one of my subscribers mentioned Wild Pears for Montal. So I just recently did a whole video on pear fragrances. So I love pears. Another one um, that caught my eye is Black Oud. The next one is Jesus Del Pozo, which is a Spanish design house. And um, Del Pozo has a fragrance line too. So it's a designer fragrance line, but then they also came out with this um, Middle Eastern marketed line. And I believe, it, I'm not sure if it's called the Nights line, but I heard about this from Sarah from Glam Finds. And I have Cashmere Bouquet Nights, which is beautiful. I did a dedicated video to this one. And some of the other ones from the collection are Dark Saffron Nights and Vanilla Musk Nights. So those, those are the other two that I'm interested in and they're on fragrancebuy.ca, although one of them's out of stock, but I really love this one. So I would love to try more from this line. There's Etat Libre d'Orange, or Eldo, as I like to call them. I have uh, Dangerous Complicity, and I've tried a number of Eldo fragrances over the years. I really like them. I like their aesthetic. Um, it's a French company, and some of the ones I'm interested in are Attaque Le Soleil, Marquis de Sade, and Archive 69. So um, I know Holly from Perfumed Vegas has talked quite a bit about Eldo on her channel, and I just, I really like what I've tried. I think they have some really unique and interesting compositions. So they're definitely on my need to try more list. Next is something I haven't heard a lot about and I can't remember how I came across this, but the house is called Bodicia the Victorious and it's a British niche house. I do have one, um, 
one sample that I got from Scent Split, and this is this one's called Explorer. It's a beautiful amber perfume, and it's got this it's this really beautiful red juice, and I love their aesthetic. I think they're gorgeous, and um, their fragrances sound beautiful. I think they're only available on Lucky Scent although they might be available on some of the discount sites. I'm not sure, but I really like this Explorer one I've tried, although it's pretty hard to find. Um, I'm interested in trying some of the other ones from the line because they are, um, this is so beautiful. It's Serge Luton, which I'm sure you've heard of, which is a French um, niche house. And some of the classics, I actually have a bottle coming from Fragrance Net of a Serge Luton. And some of the other ones that I'm really interested in are Fleur d'Oranger, Iris Silver Mist, La Mer, Sarsin. And I have sampled a few from Serge Luton over the years, and I just, I, I think they're really cool and beautiful, and I like their aesthetic too. So next is Lush, which you've probably heard of. Lush is a British company that has a presence in the U.S. and Canada as well, probably around the world, I'm not sure. But I have a couple Lush fragrances. I've got Love, and then I've got Confetti, and then we have the Rose Jam Body Spray. Um, so some of the ones I'm interested in from Lush are Lord of Misrule, which is kind of classic, very popular, as well as Yognog, which I think is geared towards Christmas time, and I think that's pretty popular too. Uh, Frangipani and Sappho, I think, are from special collections. Um, Lush is pretty notorious for discontinuing fragrances pretty regularly, so I'm not sure if those, if any of those are available, but I'm definitely interested in trying more Lush. I just, I love Lush. They're um, their perfumes are okay priced. Um, some of their other products can be kind of expensive, but I really like them. Andreas from Service Fragrance has talked quite a bit about Lush as well as Terra from Olfactophiles. Tokyo Milk. So I've talked a little bit about Tokyo Milk on my channel. I've got four perfumes from Tokyo Milk currently. One of them is Excess from the Dark Line. Actually, I'm showing you the wrong side because I think this is so cool. This is like a super super heavy patchouli. I really like it. Um, so some of the ones I'm, I'm really interested in trying a lot from this line because they're just so cute and addictive. I don't know. I just find them really, really fun and they're fairly affordable. So, um, but some of the ones I wrote down are Sparrow, Song in D minor, Marine Cell, and Le Petit. So Tokyo Milk, I just love their vibe and I like that they're affordable and that they're pretty easily available from the Margot Elena website. So that's Tokyo Milk. And then last, I wrote down Bond Number no. 9. So I've definitely sampled some from Bond Number no. 9 over the years, and I haven't really found anything that I thought was full bottle worthy for me. Um, but I'm really kind of interested in the Dubai collection. So they've got a number of fragrances in their Dubai collection, and they're like Emerald and Jade and Platinum, and they've got quite a collection, and they just, they sound really beautiful, and I don't know that much about them. I don't know that I've heard that much about that particular collection from Bond Number no. 9, but um, I'm a little bit intrigued, so we'll see if I do try that. But I'm sure I won't be able to try all of this in, in the new year, but these are just some of the things that are really intriguing me. So, and I've noticed most of it is niche. Um, Del Pozo is designer, and... I think that's the only one on my list that's a designer. Um, so otherwise, they're pretty much niche fragrance houses. Um, I love designer fragrances, but I have quite a collection already. <laughs> so if I'm going to try new things, it will likely be in the niche realm. Although, who knows? We'll see what happens. What are you looking forward to trying in the new year for perfumes? I would love to hear your thoughts on that in comments. I just hope that the new year brings lots of beauty and happiness and health and well-being for all of you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again very soon.